every time that I need to add a material stream to my process simulation on Aspen High Seas, I will use the blue arrow that represents material streams to my process. If I need to add some kind of energy to my process simulation, I will use the red arrow. In this video, we will not talk about energy stream, we will only focus on material streams. Once you add that to your process simulation, it will be identified as a light blue color. It means that the stream is available for filling information related to that. When I click two times on that, a submenu will open and you can see that there are some information that is missing and every field that you have here on blue means that you are able to add the information. Attention that Aspen High, uh, High Seas helps you to fill the process simulation. So in this case, the yellow bar gives you some kind of advices. So the first thing that you that the process simulation recommends you to do is add the information for composition. But before doing that, let's talk about some standards inputs needed to define a material stream on Aspen High Seas. Most often, once the composition of your material stream is defined, what you will add as conditions to your process simulation is information related to phase fraction, temperature or pressure, and the fluid flow of the process. With that, Aspen High Seas will perform calculation and fill the information for the other parameters. And the identification of your material stream will change from light blue to dark blue. In this case, to proceed with the specification of the material streams, let's go to the option composition. Although I have only water as my components for this example, I can change the composition basis of this process simulation. I have two ways to do that. One of the ways is clicking on basis and it will open to me a submenu where base standard, the first time that you use the Aspen High Seas, it will be checked as mole fraction. So from zero to one, you can specify the how, much, the how much or the amount of components that you have. In this case, as I have only water, I obligate, it's mandatory that I have 100% mole fraction. But I can specify also as mass fraction, liquid volume fraction, mole flow, mass flow, and also liquid volume flow. And here is where the misunderstanding happens because the Aspen High Seas has different kinds or different types of liquid volume flow. And we'll talk about that a little bit in this, in this video. Another way to change the component basis of your process simulation is to add in some value to the tab where you need to define the composition of your stream. For instance, if I type 1 and click on enter, the uh, submenu will open and you, all, you have also the option to change the composition basis of your process simulation. As I told you, per standard, the mole fraction is the option checked by the Aspen High Seas. And here, what is important to understand is that Every time that you choose fractions as component composition basis, the summing up of all the composition must be one. If it is under, below one, or above one, the Aspen High Seas will do arrangements to the totalization be one again. In this case, I will let the composition basis of my process simulation as mole fraction once I have 100% water in my material stream. And after that, I click on OK. And the warning from unknown composition changes from for unknown temperature. So now it's time to fill the conditions of my process simulation do that, it's time to go to conditions and 
just to have a reference to start filling the information for my example let's consider that temperature is 85 celsius degree and now that i have the temperature if i define the pressure the phase fraction will be defined or if i define the phase fraction the pressure will be defined so let's verify that if i click if i type zero to phase fraction it means that i have a saturated liquid and the iceberg high seas will calculate the pressure re referred to this condition on the other hand if i type one i have saturated vapor and the saturated vapor and saturated liquid is in equilibrium so the pressure is the same but if i change or if i delete the phase fraction and define my pressure for instance as 5.5 bar g now i have the calculation of the phase fraction all the values that appears in the Aspen High Seas as black means that is something calculated by the Aspen High Seas. So in this case, I am not able I am not able to add information related to molar entropy nor molar entropy. If I delete pressure, molar entropy, molar entropy is now available as an input to my process simulation. As I told you, most often, uh, usually you don't use this kind of information. So, many cases, what we define is pressure, temperature, and phase fraction. And now it's time to finish the specification of my material stream. It's time to define the flow rate. The flow rate can be defined as molar flow, mass flow, standard ideal liquid volume flow, or liquid volume flow if i add information for heat flow i am also i will also define my material stream but most often that what we use is molar or mass so i will define here my stream as 1000 kilograms per hour of flow and once I click on enter, you can see that my yellow bar becomes green bar and it means that my material stream is fully specified and now I have the dark blue color. 